back. And uh, of course, we have some other superstars in the house, and you are? Larry Gittins. Larry, and, and tell us what you do. I happen to be the trumpet player and um, ah. and brother horn man with Mr. Khalees Bayan. Nice. And that's, uh, that's my function. Lisa, how were you discovered with um, Cool the Gang? How did you end up becoming a part of this wonderful team? There was a trombonist in the group uh, prior to Clifford Adams, who's an right. existing bonus right now, uh, and he told me that they needed a trumpet player. Uh, and what were you doing at that and time when they when when you were performing elsewhere? Uh, yeah, I was with a group called the Stylistics, and we were right. based out of Philadelphia, and yeah. I was part of the horn section there. Okay. So, very happy to get the call from. Um, uh, Oshman, oh, Oshman, who told me about Cool the Gang, and uh, then Larry went on to be with Stevie Wonder for years. Who was Stevie? Ah, oh, that's okay. You know, I have a blind friend that's working with Stevie, of course. You know, which I have, Ricky, Mark, Ricky. Do you know Ricky? Ricky, Ricky what's the last name? He's down in Hollywood. Oh God. He's blind. Yes, oh. big guy, big. He he plays with Stevie a lot together, oh, okay. which I forgot because um, it's just off the cuff here. But anyways, so here you are. You ended up getting the, the part, you know, of a trumpet. Is yeah, trumpet. Mean? There you go. And, and so um, how did that change your life? Uh, drastically, because with the stylistics, we were a background mm -hmm. section. You know, we just paid a little horn parts for them, which was which was fine. Right. But being from New Jersey, I always admired the horn lines uh, with Cool and the Gang. They were one of the mm -hmm. hottest horn section okay. bands in, in the industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when I got the call to meet this man, especially this man right here, <laughs> Ah. This man right here, because he writes all those horn parts. Put on the glasses. <laughs> that I had heard when I was a young guy, you know? See, I was going to ask you, did you ever see yourself when you were younger? Because a lot of these young kids in the Be Cool Stay in School, they see themselves and they really believe in the positive. Did you actually, were you at that time in your life really believing that you were going to be where you are today? Well, this is, he's, a, he's, a, he's a child genius. It's, it's school. Tell him about your history yeah. of school. Larry won all these rewards at school. And see, that's what they need to know. That's I'm so such a important. genius that I don't turn up my phone during important interviews. But, um, well, I did. Yeah, he's right. I did yeah. win. I won a downbeat scholarship yeah. Yeah. to awesome. attend the Berkeley College of Music. I won of 12 international scholarships. And, uh, yeah, that helped me, that helped me tremendously. Okay. But to answer your other question, did I see myself being in this band? Right. No. You know, because, I mean, we're... But well, we did. <laughs> you did, see? That's cool. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, okay. South Jersey and uh, Cool and the Gang, more or less uh, North Jersey, and okay. you know they were hipper up in New York. You know, closer to New York, we're kind of corny it down there. on what side of the planet you on? It's round. Excuse me. <laughs> Turn upside down. Who's up north now? <laughs> well, what did you do in high school? Were you what, in the band in high school? Yeah, I, I was in the uh, orchestra and the jazz band. Okay. And I was in the marching band, and um, okay. because I was in the marching band, never got a chance. To Goodness gracious! I bet he turns it off in Where's church. Where's that a button? Huh? I think he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was in a marching band and I was in uh, in uh, actually choir. I did a lot of things. Okay, in, in, See, in high that's school. informational. You know, they need to know that. You know, because you're there in high school and they want to follow your footsteps. Any advice you'd like to give to the youth out there about the business? Well, no, I'm telling you. Yeah, he already gave his part. I, I, I think. I, I think that if you pursue the music industry, you should never let up because there's so many boundaries and, and hurdles that you've got to cross, and everyone's saying, no, you can't do it. you got to stick with it. I mean, that sounds cliche, but it's really the truth. You know? But once you, let, once you step back and say, I'm not going to do it, I'm going to let it go by, it'll certainly go by. And sure some does. other young kid will come along who's got the drive and will ultimately get the gig. Right. you got to have a passion for it. Exactly. Yeah. You, you know, it. that's right. Mr. Jackson, Joe, is a friend of mine down in Vegas. You know, Michael's dad, very good friend. You know, you've been in the family, and you know, he said to me, uh, You can say it, you know, I guess I'm from the Midwest way back when. <laughs> it's just a funny thing they had to come up with. Anyways, he told me, Get out there, be known, and strike. And that's the thing is, you know, you have to get out there, be known, and strike. And advice to you on that to the youth out there. Get out there, be known, and strike. Exactly. Uh, yeah, simple enough, that's it. Right. Now, do you have a website yourself? I do. Okay, and yeah. can you get it? Yeah, sure, of course. Okay. It is. Um, Human Field Records, which is, um, it's funny, it's, the, the term sounds funny, but Human Field, uh, those of us who know drum machines, back in the 80s, drum machines came out and replaced drummers everywhere, mm -hmm. right? But you could buy some uh, some some drum machines that were a little bit more high-end, had a little mm -hmm. bit more hipper functions in them, yeah. right. and there was some that had a function called Human Field. Yeah. And that made it feel more like a, like a real person playing the drums, you know? Right. And I thought that was a cool term, so I ended up naming my... Uh, my uh, 
website. Human Field Records, that's what it is. Human okay. Field Records. Now people are going to ask, are you, with, you with your own label too? Or with your human, with Greg, you have your own label? I do, and it's got a very big roster. Awesome. And Larry Gittins happens to be the only guy I want to <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask, you never know. <laughs> well, you know, they're, they're going to ask me because I'm in the schools and I have talent shows. And people are always sending me demos. We've done casting for major movies. You know, and they, I have a lot of major movie producers on my show, and, and you know, I don't know, do you act? Zach, and do you, are you interested in movies and film yourself? Because well, they're going to see this, and they're going to go, oh, yeah. I, I don't think I'm a very good actor. <laughs> what composition? I, I don't think I would pursue that. I, I, right. I'm a behind-the-scenes person, but I would say mm -hmm. any uh, artist that, you know, or anybody for that matter coming up now, if they can mm -hmm. self-brand their name, you know, get a brand, and then self-brand that. That, that, exactly. that, that would be the thing to do. Exactly, I agree. Yeah. And, but back to you also, a lot of the, the youth want to, they're going to say record, you know, they get the word record company, or they're going to start sending you emails, or uh, they're going to send you uh, demos. Do you accept new demos of new talent, by chance? Uh, myself, uh, not, not so much. Okay, that's important, okay. And, you know, only, only because it's just it's just so much, you know. Exactly. I, I mean, you're flooded with a lot of stuff. If was a, if, again, I, my little company, it, mm -hmm. it's a small company, you know, and, right. and, 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 and expense is an issue, you know. Right. So, I mean, for me to really filter through a lot of stuff would be difficult. You know, mm -hmm. we, we travel quite a bit with the band. And, right. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do when you're off? When you're off? What, are, what, what are your hobbies? What, are you, what do you do? Like, chill out at the beach or <laughs> For me? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what do you like to do? Your families? You have yeah, your families? Yeah, I have a large family. A large family? Yeah. Okay. I have seven girls, three boys. Do you really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. And they all went, had attended school. I have a youngest, my youngest daughter is in Berkeley School of Music. That's awesome. Who just won a, a uh, contest for, you know, they ran a songwriting contest and she right. got to write with Paul Simon. Wonderful. And I have another daughter wow. who graduated from the API, audio, AIP, mm -hmm. pardon audio engineer school. Okay. And my son, you know, he had a record deal with Universal. He's still pursuing that. And the rest of them are in business, and uh, one's in film, one's on Wall Street. Wow. And my daughter went back to film school and got her master's in film and television. So they all went to school, so that's important. That's important. Stay in school and then go back, and then go that's back, right. and stay in school, and that's then right. stay in school and go back, <laughs> and then go back. And stay in school. What Education would, is extremely important. Exactly. What would you like to say to your family? Anything from the heart that you'd like Love to say? Love you. I hope you <laughs> do well. <laughs> Love you. There you go. Yeah. From your dad. Yeah, do well, you know. Do well. Can I ask you, is there anything that you regret in the business that you wish that you could have done or something? I wish would, I could have counted more of that money. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's yeah, true. but you know. A lot of it got away, right? Basically, yeah, because yeah. you have to watch who you deal. You're gonna have to be careful. Gotcha. And how about your family? Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Found one over there. Right there. There we go. The CDs, yeah. and you can okay. buy them everywhere, right? Best Buy. Best Buy. Walmart. Walmart. And. And cool well, in the gang website. Circuit City is no more. Right. In some places. Cool in the gang website. There you go. And so we've got a lot of songs on here. No, Still cool. Yeah. Now, do you write your own music on here? Yes, we did. Some of it is a remake, but one okay. song is instrumental, uh, Sailing by Christopher Cross, and nice. the other one is a song called What's Happening Brother by Marvin Gaye. Ah. The you, Marvin Gaye. Do you remember Ed Townsend in Los Angeles? Ed Townsend. Yeah, was, the name. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away a yeah. while ago, but he was Ed, he was Marvin Gaye's manager. Yeah. yeah I worked with him. Yeah. <laughs> My office was right there on Hollywood and Vine, yeah. you know, yeah. it was kind of funny. Yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> we got some secrets going on here. <laughs> but you know, I, I want to ask you, now back to your family. Uh, yeah, two daughters. Um, oh. They both dance, oh, you good. know, and uh, Miriam is the youngest who is uh, a ballerina. Okay. And she she comp competes a lot nationally. Um, awesome. And she's won a lot of international competitions with her ballet. Uh, and my eldest, who is Gina, okay. typical, you know, she gets A's and she loves soccer. Just and, a regular family. Regular family. See? And, and yeah, you know, nothing special. I love them. They miss dad when I go. Well, what would you like uh, to tell them on camera? Don't give mom a hard way to go while you're home, while dad's away. Do the right thing, eat the right vegetables, clean your room. You know, you know, otherwise you'll be hell to pay. <laughs> love Celebrity it. family. Love you. Right here. <laughs> Come and visit me sometime. <laughs> Have they ever been on tour with you? Taking the yeah, when they were younger.